Blessed is our God, all is now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. You cover yourself with light as with a garment. Who has stretched out the heavens like a tent. Who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters. Who makes the clouds your chariot. Who rides on the wings of the wind. Who makes the winds your messengers. Fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke, they fled. At the sound of your thunder, they took flight. The mountains rose. The valleys sank down to the place where you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they may not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, to your water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for men to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests. The stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar with their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away, and he dawn down into the dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor into the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, and Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These are you gave to them. They gathered it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles. Who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my meditation be pleasing to him. For I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth. And let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. The sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom have you created them all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O oh God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of God and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace, for 
holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Saba, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance, for all affliction, for that danger, distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us. And protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember in our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our life to Christ our God. To you belong our glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, I have cried out to you. Hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I have cried. As incense before you, and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. If you, O Lord, can mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord as we retell this present mystery. The wall of resistance has been destroyed. The flaming sword has been turned back. The cherubim make way for the tree of life and are partake of the delight of paradise from which through disobedience I was expelled. For the immutable icon of the Father, the imprint of his eternity, assumes the form of a servant without undergoing change. He is born of a mother who knew not wedlock. He remained as he was true God. Becoming man out of compassion, he assumed that which he was not. Let us cry up to him, O God, born of a virgin. Have mercy on us. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits. In him word I hope, my soul await for the Lord. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord as we retell this present mystery. The wall of resistance has been destroyed, and the flaming sword has been turned back. 
The cherubim make way for the tree of life. And I partake of the delight of paradise, for which through disobedience I was expelled. For the immutable icon of the Father, the imprint of his eternity, assumes the form of a servant. Without undergoing change, he is born of a mother who knew not wedlock. He remained as he was through God becoming man out of compassion. He assumed that which he was not. Let us cry out to him, O God, born of a virgin, have mercy on us. Apophilakis proies metrinitos, Apophilakis proies elpisato istraif epiton girion. Tu giriu isu genitendos, ekis agias partenum, pepotis theta simbanda, pimenon agravlundon, gemagon prostinundon, Angelon animnundon, Irodis et arateton, Oti Theos en sagi emphani, Sotir tom zikonimon. For with the Lord there is plentiful redemption, He shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. The whole world was enlightened when the Lord Jesus was born of the true virgin. Herod became distressed while the shepherds kept watch. The magi worshipped and the angels sang praises. For God had appeared in the flesh, the Savior of our soul. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all ye people. Your kingdom, O Christ God, is the kingdom of all ages. Your power is from generation to generation. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and made man of the ever-Virgin Mary. O Christ God, light of light, radiance of the Father, your presence became an illuminating light for us, gladdening all creation. Every breath praises you, the image of the Father's glory. O eternal God, who are and has always been, who shone forth from the virgin, have mercy on us. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. O Christ, who for us appeared on earth as a man, what shall we offer you? Every creature made by you gives you thanks, the angels give praises, the heavens, the star, the magi gifts, the shepherds there wander the earth, the cave, the desert, the manger, and we the virgin mother, O eternal God, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. When a 
Augustus was monarch of the earth. The pluralistic power of man was ended. When you became incarnate of the pure one, the polytheism of idols was destroyed. With the former cities came under one worldly kingdom. With you, the Gentiles believe in one divine dominion. With him, the people were inscribed by the Father, decree bless the of holy Caesar. In you, our God, who became man, we the faithful were inscribed in the name of the divinity. Grant us your mercy, glory to you. Wisdom arise, The reading is from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seeds, and the fruit trees that yield fruit, according to its kind, whose seed is in itself of the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. The reading is from Numbers. Let us be attentive. The Spirit of God came upon Balaam, and he took up his parable and said, How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your dwellings, O Israel, like valleys that stretch out like gardens by the riverside, like aloes planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. He shall pour water from his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters. His king shall be higher than Agag, 
and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brings him out of Egypt. He has strength like a wild ox. He shall consume the nations, his enemies. He shall break their bones and pierce them with his arrows. His bow down. He lies down as a lion. And as a lion, who shall rouse him? Blessed is he who blesses you, and cursed is he who curses you. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob. A scepter shall rise out of Israel and batter the grove of Moab and destroy all the sons of Tom. And Eden shall be a possession. Seir also. His enemies shall be a possession while Israel does valiantly. So, wisdom let us be attentive. In the day, the reading is from the prophet Micah. In that day, says the Lord, I will assemble the lame. I will gather the outcasts and those whom I have afflicted. I will make the lame a remnant and the outcast a strong nation. So the Lord will reign over them in Mount Zion from now on even forever. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet one of you shall come forth to me. The one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from old, from everlasting, therefore he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide for now. He shall be great to the ends of the earth. You were born in the cave unnoticed, but heaven with the star as its voice proclaimed to all our Savior. And brought to you the Magi, worshiping in faith, have mercy on us. His foundations are the holy oh, mountains. Straight, 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 straight. The, Lord the Lord loves the gates of Zion and all the tabernacles of Jacob. And brought you the Magi, worshiping the faith, have mercy on us and with them. Και βαβυλώνω στη γνώσκουση με. Και μάγουση προ την εγγέν πίστη προσκυνούνται σε. Με τον ελέισον ημά. Behold also the Philistines of Tyre and the Ethiopian people who were born there and brought you the Magi worshiping in faith. Have mercy on us with them. A man will say, Zion is my mother, a man who was born of her, and the highest one himself is the one who founded her, and brought to you the magi, worshiping in faith. Have mercy on us with them. The Lord shall tell this through the writings of the people and of those princes who were born in her, living to you in like a joy for all, and brought you the magi, Worshiping in faith, have mercy on us with them. Doxa vatri kei oki aio pneumati. Kenin kei aio kei stu se onas tonne onanamin. You were born in a cave, anotis, by heaven with the stars as its voice proclaim you to all our Savior and brought you to the Magi. They worship in faith. Have mercy on us with them. The reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, there shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins, and faithfulness the belt of his waist. The wolf shall also dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them, the cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child will play with the, by the cobra's hole, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters covers the sea. And in the day there shall be a root of Jesse, who shall stand as a banner to the people, for the Gentiles shall seek him, and his resting place shall be glorious. 
The reading is from prophet Jeremiah. In wisdom, let us be attentive. This is our God, and there shall no other be accounted of in comparison of him. He has found out all the way of knowledge and has given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. Afterward, did he show himself upon earth and converse with men. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endures forever. All that they keep, it shall come to light, but such as leave, it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light, that you may be illuminated. Give not your honor to another, nor things that are profitable unto you to a strange nation. O Israel, happier are we, for things that are pleasing to God are made known to us. The reading is from Prophet Daniel. Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, You, O king, were watching, and behold, a great image. This great image, whose splendor was excellent, stood before you, and its form was awesome. This image head was of fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. You watched while a stone was cut without hands, which struck the image of its feet on iron and clay and broke them in pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were crushed together and became like chaff on the summer threshing floors. The wind carried them away so that no trace of them was found. And the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This is the dream. Now we will tell the interpretation of it before the king. And in the days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Inasmuch as you saw that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it broke in pieces the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God has made known to the king what will come to pass after this. This dream is certain, and its interpretation is sure. O Christ, perceptible Son of Righteousness, you dawn from the Virgin, and the star revealed you, whom nothing can contain, contained within the cave. You led the Magi to worship you, O giver of life. We magnify you with them. Glory to you. The Lord reigns. He has clothed himself with majesty. The Lord has robed and girded himself with strength. You led the Magi to worship you, O giver of life. We magnify you with them. Glory to you. Magus Ovigis, Esis Virginis Isu, Metos Megalino Me, Zodo Tadoxasi. Llegar estereos et inicumenin, it is us aletisete, etimos o trono su apotote. Magus ότι η σασί προσκύνη σύνσου με τον ευλα σε μεγαλύνο μεν ζωτά δοξασί. The rivers have lifted up, O Lord, the rivers have lifted up their voices, the voices of many waters. You led the Magi to worship you, O giver of life. We magnify you with them. Glory to you. The waves of the sea are wonderful. The Lord is wonderful in high places. Your revelations are utterly secure. You led the Magi to worship you, O giver of life. We magnify you with them. Glory to you. The holiness befits your house, O Lord, forever. You led the Magi to worship you, O giver of life. We magnify with you with them glory to you. Doxa vatri ke io ke io pnevmati. Inke ai ke istu se onas tonne onanami. Aneti las Christe parthenu noite ilie tis di ke osinis ke astis se ipetikse ens pileon korumenon ton agoriton. The reading is from prophet Isaiah. In wisdom, let us be attentive. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The reading is from prophet Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. 
Moreover, the Lord spoke again to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign for yourself from the Lord your God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, nor will I test the Lord. Then he said, Hear now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you to weary men, but will you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Curds and honey he shall eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that you dread will be forsaken by both her kings. Moreover, the Lord said to me, Take a large scroll and write on it with a man's pen concerning Mehar Shalal Ashbaz, and I will take for myself faithful witnesses to record. Uriah the priest and Zechariah the son of Jebediah. Then I went to the prophetess, and she conceived and bore her son. Then the Lord said to me, Call his name Mehar Shalal Ashbaz, for before the child shall have knowledge to cry, My father and my mother. The riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria will be taken away before the king of Assyria. Be shattered, O you people, and be broken in pieces. Give ear, all you from far countries, gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Speak the word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. The Lord said unto me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I shall give you the haven for your inheritance. Wisdom. The reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had laid him, had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they, the Son exalted above angels. For to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my Son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But to the Son, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. You have loved righteousness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth. The heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all grow old like a garment, like a cloak. You will fold them up, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. Peace be to you who have read. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. With your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, 
to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them at the inn. And in that region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will come to all the people. For he is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men who with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. Glory to you. Υπομεν πάντε εξ όλη τη ψυχή και εξ όλη τη διανύα σημών υπομεν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν. Κύριε Παντού Κράτορο, Θεό των Πατέρων ημών, διομετά σου επάκουσον και Λαϊσόν. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν, κύριε Λαϊσόν. Λαϊσόν ημά ο Θεό και το Μέγα Ελαιό σου. Διομετά σου επάκουσον και λαϊσόν. Κύριε λαϊσόν, Κύριε λαϊσόν, Κύριε λαϊσόν. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of sins of the servants of God, the members of this parish, the officers, donors, and benefactors of this holy church. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable, remember founders of this holy church, and for our Orthodox brothers and sisters who have gone before us, and who are here or anywhere have been laid to pious rest. May their memory be eternal. Again, we pray for those who bear offerings, those who do good works in this holy and venerable church, those who toil, those who sing, and all here present who await your great and abundant mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful, loving God, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Together, please. Lord, grant, Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Lord, let your mercy come upon us, for we have trusted in you. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your love endures forever. Do not turn away from the work of your hands. To you belong praise, song, and glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless evening, 
Let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. And this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. And this, o Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Good loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. You, Lord. Blessed and glorified is the power of your kingdom, of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. A great and marvelous wonder has come to pass this day. A virgin bears child and her womb suffers no corruption. The Word is made flesh, yet ceases not to dwell with the Father. Angels and shepherds give glory, and with them we cry aloud, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Today the virgin gives birth to the maker of all. Eden offers a cave, and the star discloses Christ, the sun to those in darkness. Magi enlightened by faith, worship with gifts. Shepherds behold the wonder, and angels sing praises, saying, Glory to God in the highest. Before the morning star have I begotten thee. When the Lord Jesus was born in Bethlehem of you, Judah, Magi coming from these worship God made man. And eagerly opening their treasures, they offer to him precious gifts. We find gold as to the king of the ages, and frankincense as to the God of all, and myrrh they offer to the immortal. As do one their days, three days dead. Come, all ye nations, and let us worship him. 
who was born to save our souls. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Make glad, O Jerusalem, and all you who love Zion. Keep the feast. Today the ancient bond of the condemnation of Adam is loosed. Paradise is open to us. The serpent is laid low. Of old he deceived the woman in paradise. But now he sees a woman become mother of the Creator. O depths of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God, the sinful vessel that brought death upon all flesh has through the Theotokos become the first fruits of salvation for the world. For God the all-perfect is born a babe of her, and by his birth he sets the seal upon her virginity. Through his swaddling clothes he loosed the bands of sin, and through becoming a child he heals these pangs in travail. Therefore let all creation sing and dance for joy, for Christ has come to restore it and to save our souls. Now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. You have come to dwell in a gable Christ our God, and the manger receive you. Shepherds and magi worship you. Then was the preaching of the prophets fulfilled, and the angels power marvel, crying aloud and saying, Glory to your condescension, O you, who alone loves mankind. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. Together. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
through a star we're taught to worship you, the Son of Righteousness, and to know you the day spring from on high. O Lord, glory to you. Iennisisu Christe o Theosimon, Anet ileto cosmoto fostatis noseos, En natinaritis astris latrebondes, I boasteros edildas condo, Se proskini non iliontis dikeosinis, Que segui nos in exilsus anatoli, Kyrie doxasi. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy be with you through His divine grace and love, now and forever and ever. Amen. May Christ, our true God, who was born in a cave and laid in a manger for our salvation, who through the intercessions of His most pure and holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the prayers of the venerable and glorious prophet and Quran John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles Peter and Paul, paramounts of the apostles and of all the holy apostles, the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, our holy God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for He is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you.